How have female role models and mentors given you strength and support on your journey to date? I've lived in different cities, I've been in different countries. There are moments in my life where I'm very, very aware I'm a woman. And um, one of the most striking examples is when I was in investment banking. And I, I didn't have this awareness of being, usually it's like, oh, okay, it, there's different things that stand out depending on what environment you're in. Yeah. And for me, I was in a group, uh, I was the only woman in my group for, for a while while I was in investment banking. And it's just a, it's a completely different culture that I wasn't very familiar with. That was one of the times in life I realized I really need, I need somebody that's done this. I need a woman around me to help me kind of navigate the system. And I would say before that in life, I hadn't necessarily, I was not seeking out women mentors. And when I was at college getting a finance degree at UT, I wasn't, there wasn't an attitude of here, let me find other women. But being thrown into that environment that was so different, suddenly I really desperately, quite desperately sought, <laughs> really sought other women. And um, what was interesting to me about the investment banking world is there were definitely, women, the women that had been there, there were so few that had been there for a very, very long time. Um, but I, I found there was very different perspectives with women. Some people were, yes, let me help you, let me, and then there, let me help you, how can we do this, what, what is it that, you, what, how can we work, how can I be your mentor? And then there were other people of, you've got to rough it out. This is what it is, and we don't need to talk about the things that are happening, and if, if this isn't working for you, just keep pushing through. Put your head down, keep pushing through. And I obviously I gravitated, gravitated towards people that is actually something I wanted to discuss and, and talk about different things. And I couldn't have made it through in a lot of ways without those mentors. The experience I had was in corporate finance, which was a kind of experience where it's a little notorious for keeping you working all the time. And you don't really necessarily have that time to reflect and, and think about things. I started a Morgan Stanley Women's Committee because I found people were looking for some guidance and they just had no idea where to go. Because they would look to the people right about a year ahead of them and those people, there was an analyst program, and those people were so busy. And then the senior women were just, they were so senior that, and there were so few of them, that you just wouldn't go call one of them up and say, hey, I had a bad day today, can I talk to you? So it was really kind of bringing a group of women together is what I started, because I found that was the way people were gonna help get through. Because a lot of people, women would start coming to me with their, with their issues, and this was happening, and this kind of stuff was happening. And so I thought, why don't we bring these, this group together?